started delivery from the malt miller. Let's have a look. So we've got a, uh, a delivery from the malt miller. Let's have a look what we've got, eh? So we have two, I think these are the 30 litre, uh, sorry about that. I think these are uh, the 30 litre fermenters, they're just standard fermenters but they've got this great little, um, you know it's been embossed or um, you know it's got the design of the malt miller on, looks kind of cute doesn't it? Awesome. Yeah, so we've got two of these, and the best thing about the malt miller is um, it's a, a free sort of service they do. They'll actually um, drill the hole for the um, tap for you, and they also do one on the uh, on the top of the bucket for your your airlock as well. So that's like a, a free little service they do for you, so you don't have to worry about messing it up yourself. So yeah, we've got two of them. What else have we got in here? So I ordered a, uh, a brew in the bag because um, obviously I'm going to go and do brew in the bag eventually. Um, so yeah, got one of them. Let's have a look at that. And this fits up to a hundred litre kettle. This, so it's massive. So that's more than enough for what I'll need it for. Probably. <laughs> Probably where is that? Edit that out, of course. Um, I've um, ordered some silicone tubing for um, transferring the beer from one um, fermenter to the other so I can bottle. So that's what I've got there. That's a metre of that. We've got our two taps in here. I believe this one is the bottling tube, it's also at the back here, this is what sits in the back of the fermenter and it's uh, it's almost like a half moon shape and obviously you'd set that up, I don't know if you can see, but that's going to stop some of the sediment getting through um, to bottling or kegging, so I've got one of those, I've also got the black tap that is for um, the other fermenter that I've got, and that's for transferring into the other one. I've also got a little um, stick on uh, thermometer strip. In here, I've got some brewing sugar. This is mainly for my um, priming of bottles because at the moment I'm just uh, obviously living in the motorhome. Um, I'm only bottling. I might be doing some mini kegs, but. That's what that's for. Right, I've seen it. I've got something else here as well. Here's my bottling stick. Ooh. Oh, that's actually spring loaded as well. That's awesome. I don't think it was. It, I don't know if it mentions it on the malt miller, but this is a spring loaded um, bottler. So obviously, some of them aren't spring loaded. They're um, dictated by the actual uh, beer that flows in there that keeps that firm. But you get a lot of dripping with that, but this one appears to be, well it definitely is, it is spring loaded, so that's going to stop any excess beer coming out when it's just bottling. So yeah guys, that is that. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, well, you get an order from uh, the malt miller. They stick each box, uh, each box has got a nice little malt miller sticker right there. Okay, so I've ordered two 740ml uh, PET Cooper's bottles, I've got two of them. I've also
also ordered a, um, a bottle washer or sanitizer. And also, this is what I'm really excited about. I've ordered the Muntons Hazy Zesty Fruity IPA. Really excited to do this. Um, when I decided to start, oh hello Carl, this is Carl. Go on, go play. Go on, go play. Go on. When I decided to start doing homebrew again, um, I thought I'd go into all grain brewing because I can dictate how many litres of beer I want to do and obviously not having space, living in a motorhome full time. Um, doing sort of like 35 pints kits and stuff like that, I didn't think was going to be very... Um, well, it wouldn't have been the best idea, um, but upon seeing this um, and watching the reviews online, I really wanted to do it. So yeah, I bought this kit and we are going to do that. But the the, uh, the end goal is, while well, living in the motorhome, is to do all grain brewing. So I can do smaller batches, but this one really appealed to me because I want to do... I used to do lagers uh, about six, seven years ago, and I had a dedicated fermentation fridge at home. Um, obviously I don't have that equipment here um, and it wouldn't be possible for me to do that so ales is the way to go because obviously I can ferment at higher temperatures just uh, being at the mercy of um, the weather around me and you know I can quite happily get away with brewing at room temperature in the motorhome so yeah um, that's what I am going to be doing um, all grain brews, ales but this kit like I said really took my eye just while I get together the rest of the stuff that I need we're going to be doing this and I'm really excited for it. The reviews are great, it's dead hoppy, it's fruity, it's zesty, tropical flavours, citrusy, it's going to be awesome. So yeah, really buzzing for this. Right. Uh, I just want to note that uh, the customer service that you get from the malt miller was second to none. So when I bought these two fermentation uh, tubs, I only requested that um, two of them had um, tap holes drilled and one of them had um, an airlock hole drilled. Um, I had a phone call the next day as they were preparing the order. Over the bank holiday, it was on bank holiday Monday, so I was surprised that I had a phone call. But they rang me and asked me, uh, was it an ab like a was it like a mistake that I'd made, uh, just asking for one of the airlocks, and did I want two uh, airlocks being drilled into both of them? Because one of them is obviously one of these fermentation buckets is just going to be for bottling. Uh, the other one fermentation so I thought it was great customer service that they rang just in case it was a mistake and um, in the end I did end up saying to them yeah they can they can drill an airlock hole in the bottling bucket uh, because again you know I might want to use that in the future um, for, for, for fermentation so yeah I thought it was great customer service from the Moat Miller um, 